Hi everyone, this is Sled Head, and I'm coming at you with my head shave of the day for today. It is April 10th, 2019, and I did want to say uh, thanks for joining me for the head shave. Definitely do appreciate it. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm not doing too bad myself here. It's just a Wednesday night. I figured out the head done here. I meant to do it the other day, but I didn't. So it's all good. Uh, just so to get in the shave here, I just wanted to go through some of the equipment that I'll be using for the shave. Uh, on the hardware side, uh, this razor I just used for the first time last video shaving my face. Uh, this is the Ming Shi 3000S. It's an adjustable uh, razor you can buy. I got this one on Amazon. It was not eBay. But um, yeah, so I, I thought that went pretty well in the shave here. I thought it gave a pretty good shave. Uh, you know, I was kind of curious. I was looking at it and doing more research on it. This does have a little bit of an issue. I'll have to see if uh, I can fix it. I did see an article. But uh, on, the, on the higher settings from like setting five to nine pretty much the uh this base plate gets crooked but once you uh adjust the setting to lower it it goes back pretty much yeah so it's like at setting six about the base plate straightens back up so i'm gonna try six and just see how it goes uh so it looks good now looks straight but like i said just like one side goes down just a little bit it's kind of weird but i have like i said i saw an article where they said you can fix that so we'll see and just another note here maybe i might try i hear from like settings one to two it's very mild if the if they'd be surprised even shaves so we'll see <laughs> so i'm gonna try maybe maybe i'll try one or two just to try but the ming shi 3000 s this i got this for 10 bucks it's cheap either way i would say check it out not bad okay then the uh well the brush i had the soap whipped up in a bowl so i'll just go with the soap first the soap uh this is another sample that i got from the east coast wet shavers meetup on march 30th uh this one is long rifle uh brown bess and this is like a a leather scent it's it's a nice scent though i like that it's a Maybe a little less than mid on the scent strength here. That's what it looks like right here. It's a, I can move this soap around. This was full, and I just took out a little bit. I have a little spoon here. Like about half half a, half a of this teaspoon, kind of. So like, like right there to there. And I looks good. Uh, yeah. So I just put that in the bottom the bowl here, and I whipped it up with my, uh, this is my Shore Shave brush. I picked up the meetup as well. So striped ebony, then wild black cherry burl at the bottom here. So it looks like right. Oop. So it looks like right there. Shore shave. It's got a 24 millimeter tuxedo style knot in there. And like I said, I whipped it up right in this bowl. Got plenty of lather here. Tons like here. Let me do one of these Don Younger styles tons of lather so yeah looking forward to using it. it smells excellent i like that scent so there's the brush and the soap and the aftershave balm i'll use today uh, this is gonna be the monroe shaving company governor this is like leather and tobacco kind of which i think that is too i thought they go well together so i'm gonna go with that Okay, so that's some of the uh, hardware and the software we'll be using for the shave. So we can go ahead and uh, get the head shave started. So let's go ahead and rock this shave out. What I'll do, put some right here. I got plenty in the brush here. Put a little more water on it, I guess, just a little water never hurt. Bring it to the head, start building up the lather here. Yeah, I'm, look, I'm happy to try this soap here. I've actually been looking at Long Rifle for a while. They have an Etsy store. And I've always kind of went through the Etsy store and looked at it for a while. And uh, actually just saw recently, they started selling their soaps on West Coast Shaving, which is pretty cool. So good for them. Hopefully they got some more exposure. But yep, it's a it's a nice scent. I feel like the kind of like leathery tobacco-ish scent, something like that. And put some more water in it. Put 
but it was really easy to whip up lather here I haven't seen too many people use uh, these soaps so we'll see how it goes it looks seems like it's going pretty good here maybe a little more water the heck? Why not? I'm just gonna go with that, I think. I think this'll do just fine. Yeah, so far so good though. <clears throat> just a relaxing night. Wanna get this, okay, so the first pass, you know what? Here, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bring it down to like a, oh, I'm gonna go down to one, uh, well, one, yeah, I'm gonna try two. We'll see how it goes. So two with this, no, I don't think I'm even shaving anything there. Okay, I'm just gonna go with six. We'll go with six, try that. Okay, better. I don't think it's even aggressive enough for me though, still. I'm just gonna crank it to nine, see what happens. Yeah, it's a little crooked, but I don't know, it didn't affect my shave the other day. Yeah, it's I like more blade feel. I will check out that article though, <clears throat> because there is a way to supposedly take this apart. You can move the little adjustment spring, and that's supposed to correct it. Oh, and I have the uh, Ming Shi blades that ca that came with it here in it. The Ming Shi Diamond Super Stainless Blade works pretty well actually. To my surprise, the slickness on this soap is good so far here. On <clears throat> residual slickness, so just just fine. And the primary, that's worth when you have the lather on the head there. Very good as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Excellent. I'm really impressed with the residual slickness. Actually, it's nice. It's very easy. Not a not a bit of drag. If that's important to you, which I do look for that. Then you can do a little bit more of that kind of buffing. If you need to. Yep, still slick. And there's a little bit of overhang. Not a, not a lot. It's pretty even with the with the little uh, door there. So, yeah, I don't know if there is any really. So, I think I'd run the ears a little more. We'll find out. But so far, like I said, fully cranked up. There definitely is a little bit of a slant in the base plate, in the blade gap. But, honestly, it's not affecting the shave. I can't even tell. Flash Boredom comment is like, ah, slant. I'm like, yeah, it's an unintentional slant. <laughs> but hey. Like, if they can fix this. Fix the issues. They do the form factor. A little bit. This could be a, a good competitor to an affordable adjustable, new adjustable. Not just affordable, because heck, you can get a Gillette Slim adjustable here in the US on like eBay for 20 bucks, no problem. They sell for 20 bucks, 15 bucks all day. I would like to get a fat boy, but I just don't know if that's ever going to happen. So I know I'm going to have to spend like 50 or 60 bucks, and I just don't know if I'm going to spend that. We'll see. Okay, so I think that's good first pass here. I'm just going to quick grab something. <clears throat> so.
sorry. Uh, Nomeo actually wanted me to compare these. So here's uh, the Gillette Slim Adjustable. I think it's a Aristocrat or whatever they're called. So the nice gold. And here's this. So just to compare, see the head on this is way bigger. Yeah, the head's bigger. Is this a nine? It's at a nine. Yes, the head's bigger. See right there, it's definitely a bigger head. And like I said, uh, well, the handle length is longer. And uh, this might weigh a little more too, actually. But yeah, just, just so you can kind of compare the adjustables here. A Gillette Slim, here's this, the Ming-Chi 3000. So, you know, it doesn't look the best. This is definitely a better looking razor in my opinion, but it's not bad. Okay, just wanted to do a little comparison there. I got a request to do that, so I'll probably do that quick. Scoop up some more lather here. Back to the head here. Pretty excited here. We got the New York City, uh, another meetup coming up here. It's uh, New York City Wet Shaving Expo in Hell's Kitchen. My girlfriend and I are going. We kind of said, hey, let's go. We can, I can go to this and you'll go with me. And then, you know, we can do something together here. You know, and you'll work that day too. So we're gonna get a bus out of Scranton. That's the closest to me, to the bus. That's not far from my house, like 20 minutes. And we'll grab that into the city. We'll get there around 9.30 or so, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, who knows. Then we can do some stuff in the morning. I know I want to get a bagel in New York, like immediately. A bagel with some locks and cream cheese. Love that. Okay, I'm gonna go with that for Pass number two. Go against the grain here. Yeah, so far so good here. This isn't a bad little razor. It's a mild sheet. I'd say it's mild, like even here, and this is fully adjusted. And I don't have a lot of blade feel on my head. So I don't know if it's just like the, the way the head's shaped or what. Because usually uh, on my head, like if I put that slim or my uh, super adjustable, I'd have to knock it down to like a six or a seven just because my head doesn't do aggressive as, as well as uh, my face. Uh, yeah, uh, everything so far so good with this shave here. Like I said, the razor with its couple faults. But for $10, like I said, what the heck do you want here? An adjustable. And the soap is great. I mean, I, I'm definitely going to get the place in order. Actually, and uh, I got a. A coupon, or rather, I got a, a what was it? A business card with a discount code at the meetup for twenty percent off orders. I think through their Etsy store. So I think I'll do that. I have to figure out one that I like, and I'll go with that. I'm gonna apply more. I got a bunch of cream in here. Might as well use it just to. Do the across the grain. I was against the grain. I'll do across the grain now. Put more water in, in here.
And I think with them too, actually, you can either get like a, I think it's either like a kind of a, you can either get like a puck in a metal tin, or you can kind of get like a, a poured in soap. It's a little bit softer, I think. And there's different prices on that. So I think I might go with just a puck. I don't know. It's cheaper with the puck, actually. Which isn't a bad thing. And it might be a little smaller, which is fine. Because I have so much soap anyways that it's a little bit smaller. No big deal. Okay. I'll do across the grain here just the best that I can. I like finishing with across the grain. It just... Works. I feel like I get a really close shave like when I go across. Yeah, yeah, I don't feel any like overhang right there. I think it's just the very the, the tabs at the end of the razor or whatever. Doesn't give a lot of blade exposure off the ends. And the blade tabs are sticking out, but they're not. They're being hidden, kind of, by part of the razor. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay, pretty good. Now I'll go back for a just a pickup. Just get the rest of this out of here and most of it. There's a ton still, so pull in my water. Put this on the head. Just to get rid of it. Feels so good, but okay. I've done like five passes. Jeez. Okay, so just get my hand wet. Just feel around. Feel pretty good here. Maybe just a little bit back here. I might just do a little back here and here. Okay, I'm going to go. See, that's good. It didn't need much. That was kind of more of a nitpick, really. I could feel a little stubble, but it wasn't a ton. Okay, then just check her out, out around the ears here, make sure I got everything. Good. Yep, got a bunch of it in my ear. Jeez. Didn't realize. Okay, and there's a little bit back here. Okay, good. Got close enough. Okay, so now we can apply some of the aftershave balm from Monroe Shaving Company, the governor. They gave away a bunch of soaps there. Very generous uh, of John Gardner, the owner. Okay, let me give it a shake. I don't do that enough. Okay. It's a bit. Rub it in here. Oh yeah, it feels good. Feeling pretty good there. All right. 
okay. And then while that's kind of absorbing, drying down, we'll just go through again what we use for the shave. So again, the razor is the Mingxi 3000S uh, adjustable razor here. Uh, like I said, I, I think it's fine. Like I said, a little bit of an issue. Like I said, one of these days I want to try to disassemble it and uh, see if I can fix it a little bit. But like I said, it's still it's still shaving fine in my opinion. Like. I don't know, like, I had shaved with it twice, no issues. Uh, that little just tilt didn't really do anything for me, so whatever. Okay, then the brush I used, here's the Shore Shave brush they picked up at the Meetup. Uh, very nice, uh, really digging it. The soap, it's the Long Rifle Brown Bess. Okay, so this is one that came in the, uh, the goodie bag that we all walked out with. Uh, yep, so I got this and I got another one, Hawkeye, I think it is. That's a citrus one, I think. But yeah, nice soap, nice like a uh, leathery kind of scent. Digging that. So long rifle soap there. Awesome. And then the balm we used here at the end. It's the Monroe Shaving Company Governor Balm. Good stuff. Matches very well with the soap. Okay, so that does take care of the head shave of the day for today. So I did want to say thanks for checking out the video. Definitely do appreciate it. Please like and comment below. I like, you know, seeing both, but if you can at least leave a thumbs up on the way out, very much appreciated. And also don't forget to subscribe as well. New subscriptions always appreciated. Real close to 350, so I'd like to see that goal hit here sometime soon. So thanks for thanks for new subscriptions and uh, all the previous subscribers. And again, uh, thanks for checking out the video. Hope you have a great night. Hope you have some great shades.